may the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you in this moment of heartbreak and sorrow. As I reach out to you, I can sense the heaviness in your soul, and I want you to know that you are not alone in the midst of your pain. I ask you, what is your situation? What weighs down your heart and casts a shadow over your spirit? But even as you answer those questions, I want to remind you of a timeless truth. Our God, the God of compassion and comfort, is here with you. He sees your tears. He sees your tears, hears your cries, and knows the depths of your anguish. He is not a distant observer, but a loving father who is intimately acquainted with your pain. You may feel broken, as if your heart has been shattered beyond repair. But take heart, for God is the great mender of brokenness. In the book of Psalms, it is written, the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Psalm chapter 34, verse 18. He is near to you, extending his hand to lift you up from the depths of despair. It is in these moments of profound brokenness that God's power is made perfect. He specializes in turning our mourning into dancing our sorrow into joy. Even when the road ahead seems uncertain and the wounds appear too deep, trust in the promises of our faithful Savior. Remember, Jesus himself declared, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Matthew chapter 11, verses 28. When your heart is heavy, find solace in his embrace. Take refuge in his love for it is unyielding and everlasting. He is the anchor for your soul, the source of unending hope. It may be challenging to grasp in the midst of your pain, but God is working in ways beyond your understanding. He is shaping and molding you, even in the midst of this storm. The apostle Paul reminds us that God works all things together for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Romans chapter 8, verses 28, verses 28. Beloved, your journey through heartbreak is not the end of your story. Our Lord is the author and finisher of your faith, and he is capable of transforming your sorrow into a testimony of his grace. Lift your eyes to the heavens and fix your gaze upon Jesus who endured unimaginable pain on the cross so that you might find healing and redemption. In this time of darkness, may your faith be rekindled and may the hope of Christ illuminate your path. Trust in his unfailing love, lean on his strength, and find solace in his unwavering presence. There is a future filled with hope awaiting you where beauty will rise from the ashes of your pain. Hold on, dear friend. Though the night may be long, joy comes in the morning. Our Lord Jesus Christ, who conquered sin and death, is with you every step of the way. Let his love be your refuge and his promises be your anchor. In him, you will find the strength to rise above your brokenness and embrace a future filled with hope. For he is the restorer of all things. My dear friend, I understand that the road ahead may still feel uncertain and the pain you carry may seem overwhelming. But let me assure you that God is faithful and his plans for you are greater than any heartbreak you may endure. He is a God of restoration and he longs to breathe new life into your wounded spirit. In the book of Isaiah, we find these comforting words. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah chapter 41, verses 10. Take solace in the knowledge that the Almighty God is by your side, ready to provide you with the strength and courage you need to face each day. 
God's love for you is immeasurable. He has promised to never leave you, nor forsake you, even in your darkest moments, when it feels like hope has faded, his light still shines brightly. Place your trust in him. Surrender your brokenness to his capable hands and watch as he works wonders in your life. Remember the story of Job, a man who experienced immense suffering and loss. Yet, in the midst of his trials, God remained faithful. He restored Job's fortunes and blessed him abundantly. Our God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Just as he restored Job, he can restore your heart and bring forth blessings from your pain. Hold on to your faith, my dear friend, for it is in times of brokenness that our faith is refined and deepened. Your current circumstances do not define your worth or your future. You are a child of God, loved unconditionally, and destined for greatness. Cling to the promises of God's word, knowing that he has plans to prosper you and give you a hope and a future. Jeremiah chapter 29, verses 11. In your journey toward healing, surround yourself with a community of believers who can uplift and support you. Seek solace in the presence of fellow believers who can offer you words of encouragement, prayers, and a comforting shoulder to lean on. Together, you can remind one another of the goodness and faithfulness of our Lord Jesus Christ. Take heart, my friend, for this season of brokenness will not last forever. God is with you every step of the way, guiding you, healing you, and restoring your joy as you continue to place your trust in Him. May your broken heart find solace, your spirit find strength, and your faith find strength, and your faith find renewal. Let me pray for you, dear Heavenly Father. In this moment, we come before you with hearts full of gratitude and hope. We thank you for your constant presence in our lives, especially in times of brokenness and pain. Today, we lift up those who are hurting, those who carry the weight of a broken heart. Lord, we ask that you would pour out your healing balm upon them, mend their brokenness, and bind up their wounds. Shower them with your love, grace, and comfort, filling every void within their souls. May they feel the warmth of your embrace and find solace in your everlasting arms. Father, we pray for a renewed sense of hope to fill their hearts. May your Holy Spirit breathe life into their weary spirits and ignite a flame of faith that cannot be extinguished. Give them the strength to rise above their circumstances and walk confidently in the path you have set before them. We ask for divine wisdom and guidance to navigate the days ahead. Help them to trust your timing and surrender their pain and fears into your capable hands. Let them experience the joy that comes from knowing that you are working all things together for their good. Lord, we lift up their faith knowing that you are the God of miracles and restoration. We speak life into their broken dreams and shattered hopes, believing that you can bring forth beauty from the ashes. Let their testimonies of your faithfulness shine brightly and bring glory to your name. May they find comfort in the fellowship of believers, surrounded by those who will uplift and encourage them, strengthen their support networks, that they may find refuge and encouragement in the arms of their brothers and sisters in Christ. In the powerful name of Jesus, we declare victory over their brokenness. We speak healing, hope, and restoration into their lives. May they emerge from this season stronger, wiser, and filled with a deeper understanding of your love. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayers and for the hope we have in you. We trust that you are working in miraculous ways, even when we cannot see it. We surrender all to you and eagerly await the day when their broken hearts will be made whole again. In Jesus' name, we pray.